Hi everybody, it's Jennifer again from Wellington County Libraries. Just another addition to our series here on the Whiteman's YouTube channel. I wanted to share with you one of my favorite authors, uh, someone who might bring a little levity and maybe a little sense to this um, slightly senseless time we're in here in Canada. It is sad times, it is isolated times, and we hope we, you are getting some use out of the resources on our website, wellington.ca slash library. has lots for you to do and see and watch and read and listen to, and uh, we hope that you are making use of all of those resources. If you are not, you can get a library card still uh, if you go to that website and just click on the link right from the home page about needing a library card you can get one or you can email us at any of the branches and get one that way as well we're happy to help even though we're at home too so my recommendation for today is David Sedaris if you haven't discovered him as an author yet uh, he is, I think, best in the audiobook format anyway, so you could uh, take advantage of his e-audiobooks. I discovered him last year with his latest book called Calypso, which actually was published in 2018. It is on our website as an e-book and an e-audiobook, although you might have to scroll down. The e-audiobook is actually called Calypso Essays, so there are two entries. If you don't see it on the first one, then uh, hang with me through the... Um, catalog and scroll a little farther you'll find it. He is a powerful and irreverent humorist. Uh, I can honestly say um, pee your pants funny and really thoughtful and intelligent at the same time. He has a really strange and distinctive voice and I mean that literally. Uh, he talks about that all the time and um, he also has a strange and distinctive voice as, an, as a writer. Uh, he talks about his family, his life, his neighbors, his voice, uh, his addictions, which he has conquered. Uh, his, um, yep, yeah, talks about his famous sister, Amy Sedaris, who you might know um, from American television and movies. Uh, he's lived in a variety of different places, New York City, he visits Japan a lot, he talks about Britain and France. Um, so he's a really uh, well-traveled and uh, observant um, essayist. There's nothing I can say really to prepare you for the ride. I just uh, recommend that you try him as an author and um, or a reader and, and enjoy. So aside from Calypso, we have probably 10 other resources in our catalog that you can access uh, as e-book or e-audiobook. So you don't have to limit yourself to just that title. It's just where I happened to dip into him and then had to read everything he'd ever written or listen to everything he'd ever written. He also has a really great, uh, I think it's available only as an audiobook um, because it's live at Carnegie Hall. So he's got a live show that you can listen to also since obviously you're not going to be going to any live shows uh, anytime soon, but uh, that one's also really fun and uh, kind of rehashes some of the stories, but they're spectacular even the second time around. So my recommendation, again, is David Sedaris, S-E-D-A-R-I-S. It's about as simple as it sounds, and he's the only one in our system, so you'll um, come up with all of his hits immediately, and I do recommend him. Again, check us out at wellington.ca library and see what other resources you can discover there.